Alright, much to brew about nothing time. Playing some Vizier Ooze combo, and we're gonna give this a shot. We have our devoted druids, we got two Jera's orders to set things up, so I feel like this one could work, potentially. Temple Garden for our opponent. Let's just forest and get down our birds. Pass the turn. Overgrown Tomb for our opponent, and passes. Alright, let's just Devoted Druid. Play Verdant Catacombs, pass the turn. Grizzly Salvage, interesting. What's our opponent playing? Ooh, some sort of Emrakul deck by the looks. Takes a... land? Yeah, takes the Marsh Flats, cracks the Marsh Flats. Well, hopefully we can just combo off. Plays a Courser, Eternal Witness on top. Well, let's crack Catacombs, grab a Godless Shrine? Uh, I think we'd, re yeah, let's have Godless Shrine. Take Godless Shrine. Play Twilight Mire. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, one, two, three, tap, tap. So that's Jared's orders. Get a Vizier of Remedies. Mill a Una. Play Devoted Druid. And pass the turn. So we could have went for infinite mana by playing Vizier there, but it doesn't really do anything at the moment. Like our infinite mana, I guess we could have played a Fauna Shaman. Although we probably will be discarding Fauna Shaman. Yep. Marsh Flats. Opponent got back the Marsh Flats. And gets in for two. Yep, we take it. Down to 17. And opponent passes. Oh, well now we just win. Okay. Vizier of Remedies. Yeah, I guess we just... <clears throat> I guess we just win. Which is fine. We're not going to win with... <laughs> We're not going to win with Ooze, but we can just cast a huge Ballista and win that way. And it is just as effective. I We're just going to cast the Ballista so our opponent knows and maybe scoops. We're hoping our opponent just scoops to the Ballista. Okay. All right, that worked out. I was afraid they wouldn't because then we'd have to add even more mana, but we're basically just showing them because then we can just make the mana to add the counters to it. So, huh, it worked. That's not the ooze combo, but it is a combo, and we will take it. And we didn't show off too much of our graveyard stuff. I think we want Crypt Incursion against our opponent's deck. I'm not exactly sure what they're doing. Definitely Scavenger, uh, Scavenging Ooze. Let's go down Gaze of Granite and go down a couple of Morsel Hoarders. Yeah, let's try it like that. Just make Morsel Hoarder a tutor target. Seems reasonable. All right, this hand, not going to cut it. If we had green mana, we might be risky and try it, but we're going to ship it. This hand's also pretty bad. Down to five? All right, well, we're keeping it five. Swamp's got to go to the bottom. While we want lands, we need green mana for this to do anything. Overground Tomb, tapped. Come on, green mana. Not green mana. Well, Godless Shrine, go. Not feeling super confident about this one. Four is for our opponent. And passes. All right. Name Elf. Play Devoted Druid. That's like the worst green mana source we could draw because it doesn't actually let us Grizzly Salvage. Pony Grizzly Salvages gets a land. Ooh, on Burial Rites. Good God. We're going to need Graveyard Hate pretty quick. Blooming Marsh. Can they kill our Druid? I guess we should have brought in Ground Seals as well if we had known what our opponent was doing. Jeez, and we lose our Grizzly Salvage. Things are looking super grim. Yep. All right. Well, come on, deck. Green mana? More black mana. Well, let's play Vizier of Remedies. Play a Swamp. Pass the turn. I don't know about this Cavern of Souls. It seems questionable. Planes for our opponent. Like, I'm sure it's good in counterspell matchups to force through our ooze. There's a Siege Rhino. Oh, play Fauna Shaman. Yeah, not liking our odds too much here. Pass the turn. Opponent gets in with Rhino. We take it. Down to 13. Temple Garden. Opponent passes. All right, what's our path to winning? 
Is there a path to winning? Uh, the problem is our mana is so rough, we can play one of our creatures or we can activate Fauna Shaman. Those are our possibilities. Lotlith Troll doesn't do a ton. Ooze is good, but we're so pinched on green mana, I can't imagine that we're ever going to be able to activate it. Fauna Shaman, I don't even know what we would be finding, honestly. What can we even tutor up? Nothing that just stops a Siege Rhino. I guess we just, like, get Ooze, take our beats. Alright, I mean, I guess that's what we do. Play the land, get in with Vizier. I guess our only realistic shot towards winning is to... Oh no, they got Resto too? Alright. Yeah, that actually just... Well, I won't scoop, but that does do it. They get to eat our Vizier. And we drop to 10, we drop to 7, and there's just... The clock is too fast now for us to even try to get a ooze. It's just not a possibility. Yeah, opponent hits us. Yeah, now we'll scoop it up rather than showing anything else. Oh, that was a bad one. That was a pretty bad one. We did not get anything going that game. Um, uh, how do we fight this? Maybe bring in the Dismembers over Abrupt Decays? We didn't really see Abrupt Decay targets, and Dismember at least kills Siege Rhino. Ground Seal seems good, but I don't know if we can afford to fit more Graveyard Hate. We have the Oozes. We have so many weird random combo pieces. I mean, maybe it's better than Crypt Incursion? Maybe? <sighs> now we're probably going to regret not having Abrupt Decay. We could go 1-1, one, one, Ground Seal, Crypt Incursion. Let's try it like that. We get to play first. And our mana base is coming back to haunt us. Yeah, we got to ship it. There's... Uh, yeah, this mana base. I'm starting to think this mana base is just wrong. Vern Catacombs to the bottom. Overgrown Tomb, tapped, past the turn. Yeah, that's what I'm starting to think, is the mana base is just that it shouldn't have so many colorless lands. When we have the combo, we don't really need Kessig Wolfron, and having so many caverns might be just hurting us more than it's helping us. Opponent plays a tap land. Morsel Hoarder. Well, Twilight Mire. We're going to run out Fauna Shaman. Hopefully discard this Morsel Hoarder. Collective Brutality, kill this, take Dismember is the worst. And that might be what's happening here. That's exactly what's happening. There goes Fauna Shaman. There goes our Dismember. Yep. We'll play Swamp. Play Devoted Druid. And pass the turn. Opponent. Ooh, nothing? Opponent just passes. Well, play a forest. Come on, Morsel Hoarder. You can do it. <laughs> just how we drew it up. Oh, my. All right. Well, so much for Morsel Hoarder this turn. Or next turn. Now we're in Nightmare Scenario. Oh, man, that set us back so far. Does our opponent peel the land to reward the risky keep? Tarmogoyf. Well, play Cavern. Oh, dear. Black, black, black. All right, I guess we name... It doesn't even matter. I guess we name Elemental past the turn? So now we... Oh, boy. We really need to get that Morsel Hoarder down. Opponent. Beaten down with Goyf. Yep. I guess the good news, a land is actually good here. Although we have a lot of bad creature draws. Well, let's Jared's orders. Put... Uh, do we just take a birds? It could die. I think we're going to, though. Let's take birds. Birds to hand. Lotlith troll to graveyard. Play birds. Pass the turn. See if our opponent has more removal. They have a handful of non-land, so... Alright, hasn't killed it yet. There's land number three. Opponent. Gets in with Goyf. Hits us. And passes. Well, we draw land anyway. So play Kessig Wolf Run. And I think we actually just play Una here. I think is more impactful. So play Una... Hope our opponent doesn't have removal. 
Abrupt Decay, Fatal Push don't do it. If we start activating Una, life gets much better. Moment of Truth, do they have a path? Eh, not yet. Oh boy, oh boy! Una? Una value? Oh, another land. So I guess I'm to Siege Rhino. Oh, come on, tell us our Una lives. If Una lives, we got a shot at least. Alright, there's a Rhino. That means Una is living. Down to 11. Ponent passes. Um, alright. I think we just pass and go all in on Una. Wow, it's another land. Another land gets our opponent to unburial rights, which, if they can unburial rights this angel, then we probably lose anyway. Well, all right, not on burial rights in the angel yet. Opponent, no attacks. All right, let's activate our Una, see if we can get some fairies for our troubles. And let's go white. All right, couple of fairies. Got rid of two restoration angels and a bunch of lands. Opponent passes. Play the forest, and... Ugh. Do we even attack? I think they have Restoration Angel. So let's just pass the turn. Here's Restoration Angel. Yep, Blink Siege Rhino. Hits us down to eight. Oh, no. Wow, they have Unburial Rights, too? Oh, no. Actually, wow. All right, go ahead, opponent. Get your Angel. Yeah, that's that's game. Huh. Well, we did some things, but those things are not going to be nearly good enough to win this game. Well, let's Una. Oh, that's unfortunate. Get a few fairies. Exile some Siege Rhinos, but n I don't think any of this is relevant, unfortunately. Opponent goes attacking. So, kill the Goyf. Drop to one. But then we just lose, unfortunately. There's not really... Our deck doesn't have things that come back from here. We can't kill the Angel. We don't have removal. Devoted Druid doesn't do anything. And yeah, we scoop it up. Well, uh, we do some good things once in a while. But uh, a lot of lacking in interaction, I think, this deck. Thanks for watching the video. If you're subscribed, make sure to hit that bell icon to get notifications for all the latest videos. It's a great way to support the channel for free. And you can find the next video right here.